so actually they have created uh, created the uh, database wmb records sorry mb record and then mm-hmm. inside the tables we have four tables event fields event types binary data and wmb messages so okay. when when i uh, generated the events i could see that uh, the events are getting inserted only in wmb messages table so okay. can you please let me know what is the use of the other three tables so wmb messages is uh, the main table where you have information such as uh, uh, an indicator to say whether it has an exception whether, whether there is a bit stream being saved so that will have values such as y and n and you have a, a message key there of 100 bytes then what else execution group name broker uuid broker name things like this and the other tables they are used as a foreign key uh, link ups so, um, okay let me let me open the that particular folder so under c program files ibm iib then the version number within that I have a folder called server and ddl okay. and if i'm going using there are three folders within that but one for db2 one for oracle and one for microsoft sql server i'll go with uh, db2 hmm. are you using db2 in, in your project yes yes correct sir db2 okay so the main table which is wmb messages has all varchar elements of 100 uh, length and these are all uh, columns that you can use to filter so it has a, a, a field called key field 1 key field 2 key field 3 so on so these are uh, in case you want to uh, save anything specific to your business transaction so there is a key value pair next okay. you have the local transaction id global transaction id and a parent transaction id event time stamp so on so let's go to the other one um, so the event types the next table is event types event types are your uh, usually if you go for a log, uh, log 4g or any other kind of eventing system logging system you would have info debug error right so yeah. this has information regarding the event types similar okay. to info, info error and uh, debug so the next table is event fields so the uh, previously i told you about the f- uh, field key field 1 key field 2 key field 3 so on so yes. in this space you can specify the xpath expression for a key field its name its description and uh, those values will be saved in this table and the last table is for binary data so in binary data you have a clob field c l o b it's a character large object field and the name is data so in this you have your actual request message your response message all the other uh, the three parameters that you can capture are you can capture a header you can capture a body or you can capture all these are the three settings that you will see in your toolkit when you want to monitoring the events so that data you can save as a base 64 encoded data or any other uh, uh, binary value so that value will come and land this table now there is a, a foreign key relationship here called wmb underscore message key okay. so this wmb underscore message key is linked up to your main table which is wmb msgs if you want okay. to look the binary data 
then you will have to go to the fourth phase for the clock value oh okay sir okay fine so so uh, sir um yeah in this case uh, i have to uh, give a select query such that this binary data table will fetch the records from the uh, msgs that main table mm. so that would be a join you would say select star from msgs comma binary data where wmb underscore uh, msg key the message key in binary data is equal to message key in msgs table okay and you would you'll have some timestamp present it uh, your yes. flow name up uh, then broken name and then timestamp if you give like that then it will you'll have a join uh, a left join of uh, the values in msgs table with the value in binary data table which is DAT data, a character LOB field. Okay, so okay, so um, so uh, in the main table we have this key field one, key field two, three, so on. So why are they not getting populated uh, in my case, uh, sir? Because I am generating the um, events correctly, and I am able to see this uh, uh, events in the web UI also in that broker UI. itself mm -hmm. in data capture store uh, it's okay. uh, it's it's displaying correctly but this key field 1 2 uh, 3 and all these columns are not getting populated in the table in database i believe you Even have not configured those uh, values so uh, there is a section called application data where you can provide an xpath expression to a key have you provided that xpath expression in the toolkit Yeah, one minute, sir. I'm just uh, cross-checking it. In application data, one minute. I have this even payload. We have basic correlation and transaction. So, in which tab it comes, uh, sir? Because I could not okay. find that. Even in it's in uh, event field. even event payload you have two sections one is data location and the other one i can't see it here uh, what is it read for me basic correlation and transaction there are three tabs uh, in the monitoring property section basic correlation and okay it's under basic uh, yes so i am in basic base. you have a section called event payload right yeah yeah correct so there is two subsections is data location and what's the other one uh one is data location and the other one is just uh, include bitstream data in payload yes. we have it's a checkbox there is a checkbox yes so in our what i guessing here is you would have selected uh, include the bitstream option and if you do that you will get data inside uh, the binary data table so if you click here the data will go there okay and uh, for the keys the key field 1 2 3 4 5 you we'll um. have to click on add button in data location and provide okay. an xpath expression oh the key field from my message yes I mean, the, okay okay so the exact xpath of my message data yeah let's consider your key is a purchase order so you would say put root dot uh, xml in a c dot a dot b dot c dot purchase order so your purchase order field would be used as a uh, the key field one like that okay so up to five or six key fields i can give as per the uh, there are uh, there are totally five key field columns so i can give up to five uh, key field uh, experts yes. yes okay 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 so so actually i i gave the entire payload itself here so maybe that's why uh, this uh, columns are not getting populated individually i i guess sir, because that the was the mistake i have is a var care the column value type is a var care of 100 bytes 100 characters so it can only store that amount of data 
it's a string value it will uh, store only that limited data so you should only use a specific field such as uh, purchase order or any other unique identifier for your message you should not store the entire payload okay so i have to mention this data location xpath and i have to include that i have to check check that uh, include bitstream data in payload there in hmm. encoding option i have to give x binary or base 64 or so, uh, c data which one sir it uh, depends on you on your requirement if you uh, give c data what happens is uh, the data gets sent as a unencoded character stream if you select base in a 64 encoded the data will get converted into base 64 first and then gets sent into the queue so if you uh, uh, if you want to store your records as base 64 you can do that so in your database when you do a select statement and uh, you look at the results you will see base 64 encoded values if you want to see we will not as humans we will not understand what the value of a base 64 data is we are only used to a b c d those characters ascii characters so we will have to use a function called base64 decode when you are executing a select statement now if you use unencoded transmission and unencoded uh, storage then uh, it is much easier for the person to view the records but a problem here is that uh, unencoded data can have binary values so if you try to send mqmd as unencoded it it has binary values of uh, binary uh, value 2 binary value 3 and these things are not visible to the human eye binary value around 32 plus is uh, visible for us that would represent the 32 would represent uh, the number 2 and 33 number 3 and so on so these kind of uh, differences are there between b64 and c data okay okay sir so for key fields i'll uh, try the option that you have mentioned so so i'll give the x path in the data location section and i'll see whether the key fields are getting populated in the key field section of uh, wms gs uh, main table Yeah, uh, and the other one the value is of type string or integer or these primitive types. It should not be a complex type such as a tree structure. So when you say a dot uh, input root dot uh, xml n c dot a dot b dot c dot purchase order, purchase okay. order should be of type string or integer. Oh, okay. Okay, so so there it should be a simple type. So it means that there yeah. should not be a multiple occurrence of the same thing. It should not be a detail. Uh, so mm. you mean that not the children. key field should not come in the detail section. When you say purchase order, purchase order should be a primitive type. It should not have child fields within it. Okay. Okay. Ah. Okay, sir. Uh, okay, sir. So the other question is. Um, in in my current uh, project right so we are generating this key fields as an xml structure itself so where uh, it comes inside wmb application data application okay. data simple content complex content so yes. how to give this uh, so is it the alternative way of uh, giving the x path like you mentioned before or both are same so how should yeah, i take are... they both are same because you said application data and simple type complex type isn't it yeah so what i asked you is a, a, a simple type application data okay so i need not give this wmb application data this x path in the message flow monitoring properties it's two ways of representing the same information you can do it in the toolkit and you can export that as an xml or you can directly go for the xml option in both the places you have to use xpath xpath is mandatory okay so in case if i am going to choose this xpath of application data simple content then how how should i give this xpath because should i start with dollar root for this also sir 
Yes. Uh, I think uh, when you click on the data button and, and say add, it, it gives you auto complete option and it will uh, tell you whether you have to use input root or whether you have to use root. I think it's root. It is dollar okay. root. Yeah. And you can even, yeah. can even use environment, local environment, exception list. All these uh, you can use. Okay. So dollar root and then uh, should I use this WMB colon also? Should I use that keyword no. inside the XPath? No. Okay. Inside the XPath, uh, let me give you an example. You should use a dollar root slash XML and SC slash okay. and then the namespace. For example, if ENP is the namespace, ENP colon employee, then header slash then uh, A, B, C, D, things like that. So namespace is required when you're using uh, for an XML or you can give a star. Okay. But WMB namespace is not required. Oh, okay, sir. Okay. Namespace of your message is required. Namespace of your monitoring event is not required. Oh, okay, sir. Thanks a lot. And why why are these key fields column is not available in web UI, sir? Because we have this uh, in data capture store, we can see all the other informations like event time, local transaction ID, global transaction, everything. But this key field column itself is not visible in that uh, UI. So should we do any other settings for this? Uh, the key fields are a custom feature. So it differs from one company to the other, the values that you populate there. All the other things such as broker name, execution group name are all common from an IBM's perspective. Key fields okay. are uh, individual companies uh, value such as purchase order was what I told you. Mm. So there you can define a custom view or you can define uh, some custom portal. You can modify that according to your company's needs. Okay, Usually, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Companies will not use this data capture store view for uh, non dev environments. They will instead yeah. use a database view where you have a select capabilities and filter capabilities and join capabilities and things like that. And if the database feature is not sufficient, what they'll do is they'll go for a portal, an application uh, server or a portal server or some sort of a, a view using a browser. Okay. For customizations, you can go for a, a browser or a database, or you can uh, try to customize it from IIB's web UI, uh, UI. Small customizations or minor customizations are available there. Uh Yes, sir. Actually, I'm looking at that uh, web UI only from Chrome. So I'm just viewing that uh, UI structure of my broker. So like you have mentioned, I'm just uh, viewing it in from Chrome only. Here, uh, there is an option for customization, but in that customization also, they have mentioned all other columns, but not this key field uh, value one, two, three, four, five and all. Mm, they have yeah. not at all given them. So it means that we can never see those columns in this web UI and we can see Correct. only through database uh, from DB2. Correct. Oh, okay. So there is no way of uh, mapping that table to this UI itself, right, sir? So there is no other uh, advanced uh, features or advanced steps that we can do. There is no such. I don't about. think, I don't think that there's an option for that. Uh, I have not spent much time on this uh, setting, so I might be wrong. According to me, there's you can't see those values. Oh, okay. You can ask in developerworks.ibm.com website or MQ series website and uh, have some of the experts answer you. Okay, sir. Sure, sure. I'll try that option also, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Yeah, yes, sir. I had I got I had three queries and uh, you have answered all three of them and you have helped me helped me a lot. And thanks a lot, sir. I'll try the options that you have given.
and i'll give an update to you sir thanks a lot thanks for thanks, giving your time welcome thanks a yeah, lot uh, good day. Bye. Bye. yeah thank you sir bye bye